Tonight, we're going to look at one of the first problems I ever solved as a kid, many moons ago. White to move in Maiden 3, composed by Hans Baumann. And remember, castling is legal in this problem. So don't say I never helped you. Pause your video and get ready to do some serious thinking. Welcome back. And I hope you did some very serious thinking. For those of you who chose Queen Takes G7, don't forget that black can simply avoid the back rank checkmate with castles long, and you will not reach your desired goal of checkmating the next two moves. If rook takes H7, again castles long, and black escapes. If queen to G5, threatening queen E7 mate, black has no choice but to play F6, and white cannot find checkmate in the next two moves. So what could it be? What did the composer have in mind? No doubt, he wanted to open our minds to some fantastic possibilities. And there could be nothing more fantastic than the surreal queen to g6 triple exclaim. But what on earth is queen g6 hanging the queen in two different ways? Well, if h takes g6, of course, rook h8 is an instant checkmate. But what happens after f takes g6? That just drops a queen, you may say. Because after rook f1, threatening rook f8 checkmate, black simply castles long and laughs again. But it is white that has the last laugh. And white castles short. Surprise, I warned you. Castling was legal, not just for black, but for white as well. Threatening rook to f8, and if black castles long, white mates on time with rook c1, checkmate. But what, after all, is the threat of this wild move, queen to g6? Can't black just, after all, ignore the queen, and maybe just play h6? And what would white do now? Because after queen takes g7, again, black will castle long, and white is not in time. But after h6, white plays this subtle queen to h7, threatening the back rank checkmate. And now, when black castles long, white returns in style with queen c2, checkmate. A very beautiful finish. But that's not all. Black has some other defenses. Maybe he can try rook c8, going for checks against the white king. But then he blocks the c8 square for his king to escape. So after queen to e4 check, king to d8, queen e7 would now be checkmate. Whereas before, the king had c8 to escape. And lastly, after queen to g6, maybe black can try a move like b3 exclamation for if queen to h7 now castles long and there would no longer be queen c2 checkmate but after b3 black deprives himself of the guard of the c3 square so at last white can have the final laugh and play queen takes g7 threatening the back rank checkmate and after castles long only now Queen to c3 and checkmate in three moves. Thank you.